Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fan Geared Podcast, episode 48. Hey. Wow. We got a spooky one for you. That's why it's uh, so spooky so dark, dark in here. and moody. My name is Joshua Vasquez. To my right, Tommy Costa. Welcome back to the show. How's it going, guys? Uh, I got a couple options for you. Where do you want to be? We can either be at a, some sort of Cinco de Mayo celebration. Oh, it's got to be a Cinco de Mayo celebration. Or we can, yeah, for May 6th. <laughs> or we can be... <laughs> on the battlefield of civil war, battlefield of civil war. Let's be right in the crossfires. We could be that any time. I thought we were in spooky place. Why aren't we in the haunted mansion? Put us in a Taco Bell. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> that is spooky. All right, civil war. Is that what we're going with? You know what, guys? To uh, tweet us your hashtags, and maybe you'll uh, be on the show. <laughs> To Tommy's right, uh, Joey Vasquez. Welcome back to the show. How's it going, guys? I'm uh, excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting a long, a long time for this. Okay, literally because both of you were half hour late. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, you were too. No. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you <laughs> was. Guys, oh, yeah, if you like our show, please give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Ooh, I have a better way. If you don't like our show, give us a like and subscribe. Whoa! Then we get the, now way. we get the haters too. Yeah, okay, I, I like I like it. There's a lot of them. Yeah, you can go follow us on Twitter uh, yeah. at FanGeared as well. Get in on the conversations. Talk to us there. Uh, thank you very much. We're going to get right into some news here today, guys. Let me ask you a question. Uh-oh. When you were a youngster, okay. a baby boy, All right. did you watch a show called Power Rangers? Yeah, well, I think for a while it was it was considered too violent. And I wasn't allowed to watch it. Mm-hmm. Then you better believe I watched it the second I was old. <laughs> the second I was old. And then for way too long. <laughs> and yeah, until and I got then creepy. well into my adult years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tommy? No. No. All right. Nope. Really? Okay. Never seen Never? a sode. Never a sode, eh? To be honest, you're not, mit- you're not missing much. I haven't <laughs> watched it, but even just thinking back, I'm like, nah. <laughs> it doesn't like... hold up. It, it's kind of how it was when you're a young kid and you're watching any show where it's like you seem to just only catch the one episode all the time where it's like you'll I'm, watch it and try to find it and it's just always the same episode for you know, some reason. I'm pretty sure <laughs> this show in particular feels like that because every single episode was exactly the same. They get into the big Megatron or they, whatever. They fight, they, they go to whatever's plaguing the city. Yeah. They fight it, they thing. lose. Yeah. Well, they try to fight it in just their... Yeah, just them. That's just like the, in their suits. And then, then they're they like, you know what, we should get in the giant robot. And then they fight it. <laughs> and then we just start with that. Robot. Yeah. Um, so, um, well, why, we, why do you ask? We have our first official look at the costumes, the suits, the Power Ranger suits. And you can see that right here. Nope, it's not gonna be there. No, it's already up. Uh, but for the oh. mo- for the movie, right? For the new Hollywood oh. movie, yeah, Hollywood Power Rangers live action. Oh, you're making this story like... so confusing, Josh. What do you think? <laughs> well, uh, this movie <laughs> is so goofy. Yeah, it's so fucking goofy, and I can't take them seriously because they were never anything that was serious. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just it's probably gonna have some BS story. This is like. It, it looks like they're going dark and gritty Power Rangers. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> but I mean, Where like, else would you go? I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the people, like the actual not Power, like, who's cool, who's excited about, like, oh, the red Power Ranger? Like, aren't people excited about, like, who's behind the mask? Weren't people, like, didn't people like those, the actors more than the actual, like, oh, well, I always like the red one. Like, no, they like the dude with, like, the long hair and, like, no. he was cool. I thought that was the red one. But yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they liked him, and then when they changed him, like, oh, I don't like that one anymore. Yeah. I like the but dude. Didn't he become the, the white ranger or something? I think so, yeah. Like, yeah, because yeah, he was, like, the s- supreme ruler. Yeah. He was the Jesus figure, I think. That makes sense. It looks like it. Um, yeah, I mean... It's been proven recently that no one cares about the Power Rangers anymore. When the Green Ranger was at that convention, he had his own booth, and no one went to it. And then, apparently, allegedly, some some people were walking around in the on the convention floor, and then they heard someone say, "Hey, it's the Green Ranger!" 
And it was him who yelled that. The Green Ranger yelled that so that people would say, Oh, what? Where? That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's awful. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I mean. I know. However, the Blue Ranger is being played by Earl from Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Oh, yeah, so, I guess we don't. Is it um, just sort of like small or like small cast i not, remember not when the casting was happening and being like oh these are pretty interesting but i can't I remember, remember who they are except for that one yeah <laughs> um it doesn't matter who's cast it's not gonna be a good movie i'll tell you These what suits are ridiculous <laughs> they're weird looking they like well, they're supposed to be like alien i, I think yeah no they're, they're like alien technology no they're like mech suits yeah but they look kind of like the eyes are like alien and it looks the they metal, look the metal suits yeah they look strange yeah but i mean they're updated their 21st century with technology and so it makes sense i mean i get it not enough spandex i'm gonna be fighting with like plastic armor like in the cart or in the other ones this should all be tv show yeah this should just be no let me tell you don't see this in theaters wait till this comes out <laughs> on like no, HBO this Go is... or your netflix no, or this russian, is just... stream. russian stream disagree disagree this is only gonna be make a bowl of popcorn when it's like midnight and you're supposed to be going to bed and be like screw it i'm just gonna watch this dumb movie and would you say this it. is a uh, back of your van uh uh outside viewing what's it called like at the drive-in drive-in back of your van back of your van outside viewing yes i mean they don't really have a lot of drive-ins across the country anymore, i don't know but, what uh, no no definitely go see it in the theaters get some popcorn maybe have a few drinks before <laughs> hey hey take a few shots in the <laughs> parking lot completely fucked up before you see because <laughs> otherwise <laughs> it's not gonna be I fun mean, that was hey, it d- didn't help me with man of steel <laughs> <laughs> okay well that may have been no. oh no wonder you didn't like it <laughs> yeah i fell That's asleep why. multiple times <laughs> <laughs> so the truth is revealed guys okay. all right we need to talk very briefly about Nintendo once again. Mm. Now, before we do this, Tommy, can you uh, t- take this gun for a second? Put it in your hand. Uh, uh, sh- now, shoot me in the face. No. <laughs> Don't make me do it. So last week we reported that Nintendo was not going to be showing the NX at E3. Correct. And in fact, the NX and Legend of Zelda were being pushed to at least March of next year. Mm-hmm. Well, today... Yesterday, they have announced that they're not doing a conference at all. Yeah, this doesn't surprise me, and <laughs> and good. They're not because... doing a Nintendo Direct. They're not doing a press conference. They're only doing they're really... a live stream of some gameplay from Legend of Zelda. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, good, because if the alternative was having a stream or, or doing a press conference where it was only talking about Zelda footage and news or whatever. Like, why? Why are they going to put on this big thing for that alone? Yes, but also, you want to know the best way to come back from being down 61% and your profits is? Promote. Yeah. Sell your product. <laughs> yeah, I think they need to To the regroup, biggest so... audience possible, which is always at E3. I think they need to step back they're essentially a a company that is like lying dormant until next march i mean that's i think that's basically what they have to do that's, yeah i mean they're but, like, okay but other... but why wouldn't they show sun and moon why wouldn't they show their new apps for fire think... emblem and animal crossing at least yeah sun and moon has to be showable yeah but i think also sun and moon like they really have to. We we'll probably get a lot of Sun and Moon gonna, information. Like, do they this have month? to push those as much for the yeah, handheld they, games? Like Pokemon the games, get their Pokemon own. games will sell no matter what. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Like, they I don't think they should do it if they only have you know three things to talk about. Don't put on a big press conference and spend a bunch of money when you're already pretty deep in the hole. Yeah, but they're they don't spend that much money to do the directs. Maybe they just feel like it's not worth it. Like it's, Maybe they're worried that it's going to come across as underwhelming. And then that's the last thing they need is to have a conference and have people be like, this was pointless. Why did they even do this? Yeah. Like, it's not enough to... They're not giving us any big things. I mean, if we think about last year's press conference, which was definitely described as underwhelming, the biggest thing they showed was Mario Maker. And we had basically already known everything about it at that point. Mm. Um, and then they delayed Star Fox and 
bunch of other stuff gave us a metroid game that no one wanted the actual metroid game <laughs> um that it drew, it drew a lot of heat for sure but everyone was really excited at least about um star fox eventually coming out and for mario maker which obviously did very well i just think that e3 and i said this last week so we're, we're not going to talk about it for too long but e3 is such a big that's where everyone's eyes are on the video game industry yeah. the people who don't follow it every day or every week or whatever that's the time that they get all their news for the year and that's when you want to sell your your big products and for them to just be doing a live stream is pretty disappointing you know we'll stay tuned we'll all follow on twitter maybe and i'll uh keep you updated (laughs) i mean follow joey for all your latest nintendo news up to the minute yeah (laughs) at uh joey joey drop trial yep Go ahead. As, All right, as always, it's displayed at the beginning of the video. Yeah. Oh yes, we uh, we knew that already, guys. Can I bring us into this one? Yes, please, guys. We have uh, YouTube drama news that oh, we want to get. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. Just kidding. Go yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's 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 bad. We'll talk later. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. You guys like the Disneyland ride, Tower of Terror? You oh, know, I actually do. I gotta say I love it. I gotta say, you know, yes. You know what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what, guys? Cool. I gotta say, you a fan? I gotta agree. You a fan? All right. Yes, too. Well, I can't wait I like to the write spookiness. it for years to come. Yeah, I like, I like how the scary. drop part. Yes. Oh my God. The lead up is good. I yeah. think you know it, it's it's definitely a line that keeps you entertained for the most part you know you're doing things it's not just you know classic line mm-hmm. um and it scared me when i was younger <laughs> so line yeah analysis. you know i gotta say well, all those things are great yeah but my favorite thing about it is that it's based on a classic sci-fi ip yeah yeah well, right so as long as it were based on a sci-fi ip then i would should, be fine with it then we should be fine uh Still Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. No. No? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I, they're changing it to Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, this... I heard about this. Uh-huh. And... They... It is rumored that no, they're changing it to they Guardians of the Galaxy. confirmed... It's confirmed now. The last it's I been, saw it was rumored. It's been rumored for a while. This week they confirmed it, and that's why everyone knows about it now. Mm-hmm. Confirmed, huh? Yep. Um, but don't worry, guys. I already signed a petition to keep it the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the the change.org All right, petition. Yep. Here's, yep. Here's, okay. <laughs> Look, how many years did we have, what did we have with that ride? Since Not a 2004. Lot. It's Since only 2000, 12 years old. Yeah. 12. In California. Okay. We're in California. All right. Tw- okay, so 12 years. If you didn't get your your couple rides in in 12 years then you probably were never going to get to it i gotta say okay? Joey, i disagree with so, you. Th- so disagree. now <laughs> either the ride is going to be either they're going to tear it down and build something new or it's going to be the I don't same think it's still going to be a drop thing is the thing right or yeah I, it wouldn't make any sense yeah um but so we get a new ride and you know, twelve years down the line. No, there's something right, about a new one. There's something about Disney's like you have to. Everything change. is Marvel and Star Wars and, and Pixar now. Well, they're just adding those things. No, no, they're no, taking not when out they're Tower of Terror. <laughs> okay, Tower. Okay, when you watch Twilight Zone, you think of Disney. Uh, Tower of Terror. How often is... do you think of Twilight Zone? Is that a big part of your life? Oh, at least a few times life? a week. I would say so. A few times a week. How often do you talk about Marvel news? I have the evidence, so <laughs> watch yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a bigger but, part of your life, I'd Okay, say. but Marvel does not do well in the Disney parks. The merchandise doesn't sell. Does it uh, not? Really? No, it's not. And it's not... I'm not exclusively Marvel merchandise when I go. Well, you're one of the... That's not even true. Your Last... freaking BB-8 souvenir cups on set every other week. Okay, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was it was Star Wars year. Okay, That's true. That's well, true. look, Marvel doesn't do well in Disneyland. We can agree. Yeah, where's the complaining there? the the rumor The rumor here is that, um, well, one rumor is that Toon to the Toontown space is gonna gonna become a Marvel land. But we can probably debunk that now that we know Guardians of the Galaxy is gonna be in California Adventure. So they're either gonna take out a Bugs Land or the Hollywood Land. And make that Bugs Land. Marvel. 
Um, Marvel Land. Bugs Land was cool, was cool for I think younger people, but it was never even really a hit. That's a, that's a le- that's a f- f- vastly less popular rumor than taking out Hollywood Land, um, which is kind of crazy talk. Uh, Marvel yeah. does not belong in Disney parks. Oh Marvel is, I disagree with that. Marvel is hardly Disney. Marvel does well for Disney in the movie theater, but not anywhere else. Um, just keep it out of the parks. See, I don't know, because if you're Disney and, you know, going back to, like, what, like, it's, Marvel is a Disney property. It is part of the Disney name and the the family of characters and stories that they have. And in their park, I think all of them should be reflected. And there's a whole generation coming up who are growing up for the past how many years with Marvel and not these other things. I'll take that argument and I'll say this. And there was a time where... You what know, what I mean, are the best rides in Disneyland? Space uh, Mountain. Well, it depends. Uh, I mean, Haunted like, Mansion yeah. and uh, Indiana Jones. How many of those things did we grow up watching? Indiana Jones. Maybe. Space Mountain. I mean, it's not really a specific... Hyperspace Mountain, Star Wars. Oh, my God. Okay. Star Wars. There you go. Uh, what a, what a... Haunted Mansion starring Eddie Murphy. Yep. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> well, that was based on the ride. And yeah. Cool. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, you... I think we still watched it a lot. Though. Yep. <laughs> and bought the video game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which came with a free ticket to the movie. <laughs> the... Haunted Mansion had a video game? Yes, it was bad. awful. Okay, yeah, I don't even remember it. Every every movie had a video game then. Yeah. Look, here's what I'm saying. There's plenty of rides in Disneyland that are based off of movies that were way before our time and are the best classic rides at Disneyland. Uh, furthermore, the rides in Disneyland that are based on the most modern movies, i.e. Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo... Uh, the new Frozen shit they got in there. Those are the least popular rides. Yeah. Well, I mean, you still have to make the... Yeah, I mean, and, but that's on them to make it an actual ride that people want to go to, whether it's it, the ride itself is fun or the, you know, the theatrics and the lead-up and the, you know, the visuals. Like, that, those all go into a Disney ride, and if they're not going to yeah. put in the time, then yeah, that's it's not worth it. Then, But then don't change anything. Yeah. But I think change is okay, but they just got to... St- stick to what, what they I, do well. I agree it's just it is it's such a classic ride not necessarily in the California park but in the Florida park it's been around for a long time Tower of yeah. Terror well, and mm. it's a really good ride too it's, it's one that I really like yeah that's no, always one that I have to make time for when I go it's definitely yeah, on it's your list the most popular ride in California Adventure yeah not to mention probably the most iconic landmark in California Adventure besides yeah. the Ferris wheel yeah no that's I mean, if they want to put Marvel in, yeah. fine, but, like, do you have to go straight for your biggest, yeah, most popular yeah. attraction in the park? It also yeah. is the only thing that sort of stands out, in a way, because the genre of the ride is so different from everything else. True. Yeah. yeah. And you can see that, I, if you haven't seen the yeah. Tower of Terror in person before, it's uh, the size of an actual hotel. Well, and kind of. It's huge. It's the height. You, you can see it. Yeah. I mean, it's smaller, but. Yeah, yeah, but hmm. it, I don't know. Well, it's, we'll see. It, it can't be they're like, hmm, this ride's so popular because the location, because it's way in the fucking Mac, and it's Corner, a hassle yeah. to always to get to. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. You open up like a slide. Like, we, we need to put our way. Guardians of the Galaxy in the best possible location. The, the, it, way in the back. Way in the back. <laughs> There's a lot of real estate behind that ride, also that they're not using and looking to expand. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, which is probably why they had to get it out of the way to make their Marvel. And actually, now it makes sense. So we got some mixed feelings about this. Uh, I personally, of course, we'll have to wait and see I'll what be, uh, the ride turns out to be. Yeah. But Tower of Terror, great ride, will be missed. R.I.P. We'll be the, the first ones in line. So We'll be the first ones in line, and guess what? You're not going to be able to get in that line the first year it opens. Okay, there's got to be a first person on the ride. There it is. Have yeah, to why be. can't it be us? Probably like the CEO of Disney or something. No, or like no, central. No, no, no. Oh, no, you know Chris Disney's Pratt. Son. He wouldn't get on that. Chris Pat, Pratt, Batista, Chris... Zoe Saldana, 
and and Vin Bradley Vin Cooper. Diesel Cooper. and Bradley Cooper are gonna be the first people on the ride, and yes. they're gonna take a picture and put it in, in the on the internet and get in publicity. Which yeah. uh, which internet do you think the the thing would be a tweet? It could I'm be a guessed. it could be a twit pic. Twit pic. Yep. <laughs> twit pic. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on. Move us along, would you? Do your dance, do your dance at the Space Jam. <laughs> Keep forgetting we're talking Throw about Throw your this. hands in the air if you feel right. We're gonna kick it in the oh, overtime. Right Welcome to right Space Jam. Two. Oh, Two. Starring the best uh, base ba- basketball. basketball star in okay, the league. We, we have a little talk. Stephen talk. Curry. Yeah, MVP two years in a row. Clearly the best player. Best basketball player. I mean, it would make sense that so you put the best basketball player of the, of the time, right? Guys, guys, guys. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. But here's what you have to realize. <laughs> yeah, LeBron's getting old. Who? Yeah, his hairline is Le- halfway across his head by now. We get who? it. Le who? Le- LeBran? LeBran? LeBron, LeBron James? James? That guy is oh, in he's Space Jam be in too. Space Jam? Well, he's on the picture. When's the last time he was relevant? Still, well, look, who's, who's his co-star? Look. Daffy Duck, <laughs> Bugs Bunny. No, Bugs Bunny would be like comparable to Stephen Curry. I'm picking the lesser Looney Tune yeah, to be the co-star. I think they're oh, both, he, both, both going to be in it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're both going to so? be starring in the movie. Look, LeBron is on a is on a team that's that's not great. What? They're you know they're in the playoffs. They're the best team in the East. They're for sure going Let's to the NBA Let's not make this a baseball, finals. basketball. Yeah, story. but there's a reason why he's not relevant, <laughs> and it's because like no, he's, the, he's relevant. He is, but he's not seen as though as how he was when he was dominating. He's on not the, the Michael Jordan of his time anymore. But Steph Curry didn't even play in the last two games, and all everyone could talk about is when Steph Curry coming back. Look at him do it without Steph Curry. Yeah, he's, look he's at him. Still, still the. Cont- talk of the town. Continually watch him celebrate on the bench. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I was watching that last game. I was like, maybe, maybe just sit down when you celebrate. Maybe no. Yeah. Just he was like, get a he's excited. He's, he's gonna get, break his just, arm. Just just getting getting his knee. See, okay, but this is what you have to understand. We we do that right when we're watching Warrior games because they're so exciting. He's never watched a Warrior game before, <laughs> you know. True. So he's he's just experiencing what it's like. It's <laughs> true. Okay. But before we get too into it, look. What a have comeback! You guys, this is what I want to ask oh. you guys: Have you guys seen Trainwreck? Um, Amy Schumer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you have? Yeah. Okay. It was a, not a train wreck of a movie. I have I, some issues I liked with that it. movie. I mean, actually. there's definitely problems, but it's not. She's not a train wreck of a person. No. Right. Like no, at all. That no, person wasn't. No, she wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Not at all. But <laughs> LeBron, he acted well in that movie. He was in that. Yeah, he had a what? pretty major part. <laughs> He was, oh yeah, he was like the best friend. Huh? Yeah, he was like getting up. But yeah, like, no, because what's his name was his like uh, like therapy coach or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they all the, knew the, the guy. The guy his and physical the, yeah, guy. What's that guy's yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Bill, the main guy. Bill Hader. Bill Hader. Bill Hader. Yeah. Uh, so you're saying that LeBron James is in Space Jam Two because he's the best actor no. for the job? <laughs> no, I'm saying this is why it's not terrible. He's a good actor. I've seen Steph acting fight. commercials. It doesn't matter. Michael Jordan isn't a good actor. You know what? Space Jam is a shitty movie. It doesn't <laughs> no matter. Way! Right? Okay, and here's the other thing you have to remember. When do you, when did uh, Michael Jordan do Space Jam? You think it was uh, during the prime of his career? Yeah, it was. Yeah, when he was playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how it ended, huh? No, no that wasn't the beginning. With playing baseball, and they're like, you're not no, a baseball it, player. No, it ends, too. He gets off the spaceship. Oh, and he goes back to yeah, finish yeah, the game, yeah. yeah. Back to follow his dream of being, being a, baseball a baseball player. player yeah, <laughs> his yeah. prime of being a baseball player. Yeah. <laughs> So so do you think do you think um, LeBron's gonna be in the middle of, in the beginning he's gonna be in the middle of like a big new movie shoot and they're gonna come in and take him and then he's gonna come back and he's gonna finish his dream of being an actor oh, interesting <laughs> interesting it or, could be. Uh, since he's not a good uh, basketball player anymore or <laughs> what's another sport that he would look yeah look. always like doing a commercial look. or something yeah. <laughs> yeah, right LeBron James is not. He's not gonna go down in history, like he will. like as he'll be maybe oh, in no, like best twenty five of all time, but probably not in the best <laughs> ten it? of all time. 
Not Definitely not Steph number one of all time. Yeah. And Michael Jordan is number one of all time, which is why is he? he yeah. Or is he being overshadowed right now? No, nope, he's Ooh, number one of all time. Interesting. Stephen Curry is a better shooter, but Michael Jordan's the best of all time. Okay. And um, I've heard a lot of guys. I mean, on one of those teams has the that. best record of all time. Ooh. One does, and the other one. One second best. Say hey, second best is not bad. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. saying that. Yeah. But when Nobody is, is saying that. But first is ahead of that. It's above it. Right. Objectively, yes. Sure. <laughs> Look, um, doesn't mean anything if the Warriors don't win win the championship. Sure. Yeah, but they will. Look, guys, <laughs> if I couldn't convince you with that, how about this? You may be able to feast your eyes on that sexy bunny <laughs> oh, <laughs> one more time. Oh, Sold. <laughs> I think you know exactly. Who oh, I'm about. Ooh. They should get a uh, Scarlett Johansson to voice that. No, they shouldn't. You sure? Why? Because I'd be okay well, cause why does she need to do another thing? She has did a sexy you, voice. Did you see the Jungle did Book? Did you see her? Scarlett she was only a voice in her. Oh, yeah, no, she did a great job. And the jung- did you see the Jungle Book? She in that? Yeah, yeah she's she was a, a snake. The snake, yeah. And I'll really? tell you, that was the most seductive snake I've ever seen. <laughs> so that, that's that, that's the snake's power. It, wasn't like, that snake really seduces yeah. Mowgli? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, yeah, just waste ten minutes of the movie for no reason. That'd be anyway. fun. I think it'd be fun with her. Sure, Scarlet. I mean, but also other people. Why do we need Scarlet Johansson? Because she's the best, like, sexy voice over character. Actually, I think they should just get the same person who did the last yeah one. are those people alive anymore yeah <laughs> are we still alive we saw the movie when it came out okay but they weren't five years old when it they were doing probably the like 20 years acting. ago <laughs> so yeah no, i'm sure they're still alive they weren't like yeah 80 years old they could have 70 been. they can do like it 40 they can 30s. do it yeah they're fine i like i like her our whole space jam 2 talk was about is LeBron a good enough basketball player to be in the movie? <laughs> yeah, think, what are the basketball movies? It makes sense, though, because he's like, I don't know. When I, I mean, don't what's going to be his thing? Because uh, because Jordan stretched his arm, like, 20 feet. Well, to he be, make the, yeah, that's so because he, he is, became a Looney Tune. What is LeBron sure. James what, what is known Le, for? LeBron's going to have to become a Looney Tune also. He's going like, to, like, get mad at... To defeat the Monstars. Yeah. He's going to get fouled, and then he's going to get really mad. And turn into or, a monster. Or he'll, like, give someone a look like, we think you're doing, you know who I am? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's not going to pass to anyone. He'd be like, yeah, he's going to be, he's like going to be like a real douchebag. Yeah. Oh, and his okay. team's going to hate him. Bag, and right. he's going to join the Monstars, and then the Bugs Bunny's going to have to beat LeBron James. Ooh, that'd be good. With Steph Curry. That'd be a twist. Steph Curry comes in, starts shooting those threes, and it, it's, when he's hitting them, he's, to, to win the game, he becomes a Looney Tune, and from full court, from across the world, halfway across the world, <laughs> shoots yes. his. Wait, so, uh, so Steph Curry's making the cameo, not Bill Murray. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we, what we came to the conclusion. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would? Why would Bill Murray? (laughs) Why would Bill Murray coming in like save the day? Like, how would he help in the basketball game? Oh, thank God, that old guy's here. (laughs) Comes in and he's literally like da 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 for himself. (laughs) It's like we're playing basketball. We're we're not. We're not hunting ghosts. That. Oh, yes. so so Kristen Wiig is gonna make the oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah or or worse uh, Melissa McCarthy or better maybe yeah. she's got some hits and misses sure. guys we got one more thing to talk about and that is the Punisher has officially been ordered for a full series from Netflix mm-hmm. so we don't have any. Uh, details about when this will take place will it be before or after or during the events of daredevil season two however it will still what are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Stop. i'm trying to pay attention daredevil season two don't know if it's be of the events but john barenthal will be reprising his role as the punisher mm-hmm. what do we think Oh, I think they're trying to expand this universe. Uh, I've never seen Daredevil, but I'm not surprised. Uh, makes sense. They need another Marvel show on Netflix. They already got the rights to Punisher, and there he is. Let's just fucking do it. Well, we have two more shows besides Punisher already set to come out. What do we got? Luke 
Luke we Cage. have Luke Cage and uh, Iron Fist still to come out, followed by The Defenders, which is the combination of all four. Mm. All right. Right. Now we also have the Punisher. Okay, let me get it. let me get into this real quick. Get into it. Punisher loved him in Daredevil. Thought it was great. Perfect uh, casting. But they yes, perfect casting. But I am worried because they really spent a lot of time on his character. Mm-hmm. I mean, there were a number of long conversations with him and Daredevil yeah. discussing his morals and his family. Whole and, episodes there was just a one-on-one conversation. Yeah, and like, where, what's his motivation now? Where does he go from here? Like, what? We leave I, him at a bit of a cliffhanger. I mean, no spoilers, but there's well, definitely room. Really. There's definitely room for them to move beyond Daredevil season two, like for it to take place after that. Yeah. And I think it has to because because he's finally he's the Punisher now. Yeah, he wasn't before technically. Whoa, no. sorry, that's spoiler. a spoiler. Sorry, man. Um, Shit. So yeah, so now I guess he kind of just goes out on his own and does things. And but I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't see the need for it. I don't see why he couldn't have just been a character that shows up in Daredevil or even in the the other one. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't see there think there's any reason why not. And then in the Defenders, he has a bigger part. Yeah, I don't like his own. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I have no doubt that it will be good. Sure, they have a good track record. When it comes out. And, like I said, uh, John Barenthal, perfect casting of the Punisher. Uh, best Punisher we've seen, uh, acting-wise. Out of the two. <laughs> of the two, yes. A lot of people like the original Punisher movie. Do they? I mean, it's yeah. brutal as hell. Yeah. I think that's what people like about it. That's the yeah. original rated R superhero movie. Well, Punisher is, he's an anti-hero. He... He kills. He doesn't care about killing people. Punishes. Punishes. Oh, that's yeah. why they call him the okay. Punisher. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's good. Uh, is named by the police that the Punisher. Okay. Yeah. So I have no doubt this will be good, and I'm excited to see it. I but I do. I have the same concern with like we've seen so much of his, kind of his origin was in Daredevil yeah. already. Mm. So yeah. we can only move forward at this point. So hopefully that they do and. They probably will. Yeah, hopefully they don't move backwards. Well, they could do like an or- a, another origin season of him. Wait, like, do we ever find? Never mind. Do we ever? That's him? gonna be a spoiler. So I'll ask you. Do often. they ever yeah. find the treasure? They find yeah, the this, treasure. They. Uh, I'm talking about um the Nick Cage movie, National Treasure. Right. right. They find the treasure and they uh, they go. They all become rich at the end, right? Because yeah. the government lets them keep it. They yeah. keep uh, that, percent. and that one guy gets the car. They're like, you committed all these crimes and like one percent. All these ridiculous felonies, but you found it, so you can have one percent. Yeah, (laughs) which is a lot of money. Which is a car for that one guy. (laughs) Guys, we're gonna get into a segment and this show we like to call What You Doin'. Who would like to start this week? Tommy. Oh, I would like to start this week. Go for it, Tommy. Man, that's a big week. Um what I've been watching a season of Lost per week, so I just followed that uh, pattern. I watched season four. Did you watch one and season? five and two thirds of six? Oh, you're almost <laughs> done. Really, really pushing through. <laughs> so I mean, after that, I had time for nothing else. Uh, but I saw Keanu. Okay, and that's it. Hmm. All right, and then our ten second review later, we'll see what movie you watched. Okay. <laughs> what you got for me, Joey? Um. Wow. Okay. Honestly, not much. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. Okay. I was. <laughs> All right. It's I cool. don't know. Just a class. Yeah. Uh, I helped a friend out with a with a short film that's really funny. Okay. Maybe I'm miss editing, but uh, I don't have time to edit this. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, no, I didn't really watch anything. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Your too. classic. Uh, Sunday night HBO. Just some Jon Snow coming back from the dead or something. Well, okay. Wow, spoilies. <laughs> All right. One. How do you know that? Two. Twitter exists and people. We're gonna hate have to me. not. That's you, we didn't give it. A... I've been spoiling Game of Thrones since week one on this podcast. That's literally okay. the first episode. <laughs> All right. I guess we're just okay with that then. <laughs> yeah. I guess this will be known as that podcast. Yeah. Which is spoilers. Sorry. If they don't know by this point, then they're not on the internet, which means they're not watching this anyway. Could be true. But still, I mean, you, you could give a warning. That's yeah i'd be mad if i was like oh it's the busiest week of my life i haven't been able to watch game I of trust thrones these guys now they don't just spoil so i don't let me just watch this fan geared podcast before i get on that 
I'm really busy going to work all the time. I got a two hour commute. You're I gotta listening to it, huh? Queue up my YouTube videos. What's that? I'm listening to Fangirl podcast on the way to work. I wish I could just do that and watch Game of Thrones, but I can't. But I guess I'll just watch this episode of Fangear. Spoiled. Hmm? What do you say? Well, to those people, I apologize. That's all they wanted. We accept. Is that all you did <laughs> this yeah. week? Oh, I have, I have one more thing. I got um, The Revenant, The Hateful Eight, and The Big Short on Blu ray. Wow. Nice. Nice. Didn't watch I them. also watched. <laughs> <laughs> I also watched Game of Thrones and uh, Silicon Valley Silicon. this week. Very good. I finished Kimmy Schmidt season two. Uh, ended really strong. I thought. Yeah, um, better, right? Beginning starts very slow with the season, but uh, eventually it gets better and better. Ended really strong. With the last few episodes being very good. Tina Fey is a great. Uh, uh, regular on the show now so and i like her character a lot and what else did i do i read a book called uh what nerd yeah i read a book called uh it's it's a non it's a non-fiction in fact it, you you might even call it a uh education book i don't understand what means. i read a book called write what you don't know i found it while rummaging around in this room and I read it, and <laughs> it was a really funny take on the screenwriting process. Yeah, I think I was supposed to read that book. Yeah, at one point, I don't <laughs> think I ever did. It's pretty funny, and it's a it's a it's funny. Yeah, it's like a humorous take. Why on wouldn't the my professor process. tell me that? I don't know. Maybe that would give me to whatever. But yeah, that's a, basically what I did this week. I guess did I do anything else? I don't think I did. I don't know. Well, don't did know. you? But one thing we will be doing, and you'll be seeing our reaction to it on Monday. Is seeing Captain America Civil War, so make sure you like and subscribe so you can see that on Monday. Tommy, uh, it's time a, for our final just, segment. Okay, what is it called? <laughs> the 10 second review. <laughs> what, 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 so what are you going to be reviewing for us today, Tommy? Keanu, no spoilers. Oh, uh, Kean Peel's comedy about a cat that gets stolen by a gang. Yes, <laughs> now we'll be putting 10 seconds on the clock. Tommy, are you ready? Go. Uh, it's just really funny. Yeah, it's got some flaws, some character consistencies. Um, but the is the kid one? is so <laughs> cute, and it's really funny. And you should see it because it's <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> wow, some character consistencies, <laughs> in inconsistencies. Oh, is that what you said? Sometimes it's hard to spit it out in ten seconds. Well, yeah, you spit know, spit it out, Tommy. It's why you practice. Mm -hmm. I didn't practice this one. Okay, well, no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> guys we'll see you on monday with our review spoiler review of captain america civil war we're very excited and we know you are too yep. is that a is that a promise I'm say, we're making it's a promise we're making that what they're you, gonna be excited you, or what or okay anyway. <laughs> um i'm gonna say 75 percent chance that it gets real heated what do you guys think? 75% chance it gets really heated? Yeah. I'm going to say 70. 100%. 100%. All right. I'd say there's less 70, of a chance. 70, okay. Less right. of a chance. That it gets but heated. who would have thought the Star Wars one would have got that heated? It's true. Well, it's true. I mean, if only we're a better movie. We'll see you next week.